fan to nav lights first. There's the nav lights, nice and bright. And then here is the interior lights. Nice cool blue glow. Well hey, welcome back to the channel. So first off, let me apologize if you hear fans running in the background. So we got fans running in the background. It's summertime in Florida and I'm in a tin box. It is crazy hot in here, so I've got to have those fans going to keep me going. But anyway, uh, as the title of the video says, we're going to be installing some LED lights on my uh, Old Town Sportsman here. This is a 12-foot model. Doesn't really matter what kind of kayak you got. You can do this to any of your kayaks. So uh, when I try to search YouTube to find videos on how to install, you know, these basic the Amazon LED lights that you get, you know, for cheap, I couldn't hardly find any. Everything that popped up was Yak Power, Yak Power, Yak Power. Them linking Yak Power I want you to buy this $300 setup to just have plain LED lights in your kayak. So I said, the heck with that. And uh, I'm going to do it myself, and I figure I'll make a video while I'm at it. So for people like myself, who like this do it on the cheap, you can do this, and watch me and see how I do it, and maybe copy me. So what we're going to be installing, we're going to be installing the front nav lights, and, see, and some uh, inside, what do you call it, courtesy lights, so you can see in the dark. Uh, we're not going to be doing the anchor light on this video, that's going to be its own separate video, so be sure you're subscribed to the channel so you know when that video comes out. So I got everything I'm going to need back here in the tank well, like all my tools and wire and parts and stuff, but I'm not going to sit here and bore you with an inventory tool list. You'll see what I'm using as I'm doing the steps, and you can follow along. And my last video where I showed how I installed my fish finder, I had a bunch of people want to know how I ran the wire. So I guess I better show how I run the wire in this case. There was no real secret to it. Reach your hands in the compartment, feel the wire, and pull it out where you need it. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the build. The main nerve center of all this is going to be my rocker switch panel. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to install that and where it's going. Like I said, here's my rocker switch panel. Just so you know, everything that I'm using here, there's going to be an Amazon affiliate link for it down in the description below so if you're wanting to know where you can get any of this stuff all you have to do is open up the show more little section of the description and there'll be links to all the stuff you can just click on and get it yourself uh, this was probably the most expensive part of this whole build was this rocker panel I believe it was like twenty three dollars the lights were like eight bucks so this does not cost you much at all all right anyway uh, as you see I took my switches out of this panel and marked it on my kayak where I want it to go. I'm right-handed, so I got it on the right side, and it's gonna be right here by where the seat is. So it's gonna be out of the way, but I still have easy access to it. I got three rocker switches, and then I have a USB with a uh, digital voltmeter right here. On the back, they come pre-pigtailed back here on the back. So before you start pulling these out to do this, to trace this, Go ahead and take a picture of this so you make sure they're in the right order you know you can put them back. And also, these things are a pain in the butt when they're removed from the factory. They got them on tight. They're not crimped, they're supposed to just slide on, but they're real tight. So take a pair of needle nose pliers and use those. Because if you just try to use your finger to pull them out, you're gonna learn the hard way like I did. You're gonna be pulling wires out as well. So do that, then take your plate, trace it like I did, and where the small holes are, that's where the screws are going to go. And since these are pigtailed, you can't cut out individual squares to put it back. You gotta cut out one big slot. I know it's real nervous to put a big hole in your kayak, but either you own the kayak or the kayak owns you, right? But save this piece of plastic, because actually it's useful whenever you do get a hole in your kayak and you melt this piece of plastic down and uh, patch up holes with it. Not this big, obviously, but other ones. So uh, let me show you how I'm going to cut this hole out. So go ahead and take yourself, get yourself a drill. You're going to drill out holes in the corners 
big enough where you can get a uh, either use a Dremel or a cutoff wheel or I'm gonna see if I can use a jigsaw. Most a lot of people got jigsaw and they're cheap. So if you're using a jigsaw like me, make sure you have a fine blade on it, not a rough blade, or else it'll uh, really tear up your plastic. Get the box out of the way. See, comes right out. Then you can take a razor blade, or I'm probably just going to use my pocket knife, and you can clean up all this rough stuff around the edge here. All right. So once you got your hole cut out, and your panel fits in there nicely. Pretty easy. You know, you don't have to force it. This is the very last thing we're going to install. So you want to keep the panel out, so we can run our wires out of this hole hook them up to the panel and it makes things a lot easier versus trying to reach in here. So next thing we're going to start at the very front of the kayak, run our port and starboard nav light and run it back here to this first switch. Okay so now we're going to install our port nav light. For those that don't know navy, port is left. The port is also your red light starboard your green light. So what you want to do is you got two wires on the back, right? You want to find a drill bit that's the same width those wires are. So when you drill this hole, you can fit both those wires in that hole pretty comfortably. Now the way I line mine up is I'm lining it up with the carry handle right here across the front. That way if you're looking at the kayak head on you can see both starboard and port lights, that way you know I'm facing straight at you. But of course if I'm on the left, you can see that you're looking at my port side, starboard side, so on. So they're not so far back, you can't see both of them, but they're not so close where you're still seeing both of them at the same time kind of deal. You want to have a little space back. I got it marked roughly in the middle between right here. I'm going to go ahead and make my hole. Be careful when you're drilling holes in your kayak, the front not so much, but in the back where you got any kind of cables or anything, you don't want to hit and mess things up. And we're going to run wires in, just do a test fit. And there you go, it's going to fit on there just fine. Oop, blocking my big fat fingers. I already have the starboard hole drilled out and I got the starboard light over here. So I just cut out a small little jumper wire. Basically we're going to run from the port light to the starboard light and then run all the way down to where our anchor light is going to be and then back up to the switchboard. Uh, if you're wondering what size wire I'm using, this is 16 gauge. You don't really need really heavy gauge for these little LED lights. They don't take up any voltage. I mean you can see what size wire they come with. They're, super teeny tiny. 
So, for everyone wondering, how you run in the wire? It's really easy. Watch this. You watching? In the front hatch. All right? And then you're going to take your wire and come out the hole you just made. So when you crimp it, you can crimp it out here, run it back in. It makes things a lot easier versus having to try to work on it inside the kayak. I mean, you can make a pretty big hole. Just obviously don't make it bigger than the width of the light. Because what we're going to do is, is after I connect everything, and we install the light for good, I have a tube of clear silicone. And we're going to put silicone around the edge of this. Not the whole light, just around the edge where the hole's at. And then when I put the little screws in, I'm going to put silicone on those too. So I got my 16 gauge butt connectors on here. I'm going to take my crimps, put the corresponding slot, pinch it down. Good to go. This is heat shrink. You could, if you want to, put some more heat shrink tubing over here and go over it. This is going to be fine. It's going to be inside the kayak, much less up top. If I have that much water get in here, I got way bigger problems than uh, having my lights on. This will sheet shrink over it and do a good job anyway. Like I said, if you want to be over precautious, you can put another layer of it over there. Or you can coat the thing in silicone, whatever you want to do. Crazy as you want to get, right? It's your kayak. Do what you want to do with it. Make it yours. Me, I like to live riskily. Riskly? Is that a word? I also like to live dangerously. Crimp it. She's there. Alright, I'm going to wire back through my hole for the other side. What I was talking about, you can just take that, stick it in there one at a time. I'm fine. I'll take my line on the other side. This actually needs to be stripped just a little bit more. This is teeny tiny. This is like 20 gauge wires, what they're using. You can see what I'm using is overkill. Alright. I'm not a professional electrician by any means. If I can do this, anybody can do it. Red to red, black to black. 12 volts, pretty easy. Or you don't have it hooked up to the battery, you're safe. And if you do get a little 12 volt zap, it's not going to kill you. Just make sure. Don't pull it hard, just give it a little tug. Just insert filthy comment there, that's what she said. Then you're pretty much going to repeat this process while the lights around here because they're all the same. Take my heat gun, shrink this down. I know this is about as exciting as uh, watching paint dry. Things all high too. Come on, bud. There it goes. You can use a lighter if you want to, but this seems to be a cleaner look. Flip it over, get all sides of it. Wrap around that 16 gauge wire real good. This little teeny tiny 20 gauge stuff, it is not a fan of. Spend some time on the smaller side. There we go. Then we're just going to hop over to the other side and do the same thing. I'm not going to bore you with that. You guys get the idea. Except for uh, how we got one wire going over here from here to here. We're going to have one going to this one and then another long one going all the way back. So maybe I will show you at the very end part of that. But just shove it back in. Hot, hot, hot. Careful. 
Now I wouldn't start screwing this down, the silicone it just yet. Kind of wait till you get everything ran, that way you got you know slack and movement. Then once everything's installed and you powered it all up, you know all these lights work, you can go around and do your silicone and screw it in. Also, I forgot to mention in the beginning of this, test all your lights and your panels, your switches, everything. Put them on power before you go through all this trouble to make sure they work. So I went ahead and I ran my length of wire. It's going to go all the way back to the anchor light. Off of this light, it's going to be up here. My starboard one, here it is. It's going to be up here. Because this wire is going to come over this light connection and then this is going to run off of this back to the anchor light. So, I need to run this wire through the kayak. My plan, what I'm going to do is, I took the starboard side uh, pole holder, rear pole holder out. And I'm just going to take this wire. This wire is pretty stiff. You can pretty much just feed it through. And you have an access hatch in the middle. And of course I got this big giant one here. You can just long arm until you feel it and pull it through. Or if you have a fish tape, you can move that up if you want, it's electrical tool. You can run a fish tape through there and hook it on to an easier point. It's probably right there. So you can at least run it from there to there. And then put the fish tape the rest of the way. But I'm going to try to be hard headed and do it the other way. Never mind, I lied. I'm using the fish tape. This is what I'm talking about. Real hard wire on a spool, run it through the hatch, send it back. Just go to Harbor Freight. They got these things for stupid cheap. Make your life easy. Plus, I'm sure you will use this again. Ta-da! There it is. Alright, so now you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the wiring. You have two in here now. Because you have one of these running back to the running back to the anchor light. And the other one, of course, is going across the way over here to the port light. So then so repeat the process. We'll just clamp and heat shrink on our starboard light here. Run it back through. Then we'll go to the back and wire up the anchor light that I'm going to use. All right, so now we're back here where the nav light's going to be. It's going to be on this track system. Got my two wires already ran. Of course, one of them goes all the way up to the uh, nav lights in the front. And the other wire I have coming out the hole where the switch panel is going to go to activate all the nav lights at one time. Right now I just got them sitting up here like I said where the uh, rod holder used to be. My plan is give us a clean look. I'm going to use this two pin connector. I'm going to use this uh, waterproof cable clamp. So the cable clamp is going to be mounted right here. And you're going to have this two pin connector come out. That way when I don't need my anchor light and I'm fishing during the day, I can just have it out. It's not in the way of anything. And when I do, I can slide it in and just connect it with this two pin connector. So what we gotta do next, drill the hole for this and mount it. And it's gonna be tricky getting this nut underneath here through that little hole and getting it on here and tighten it up. But I got a little trick for that, hopefully. Be able to just thread this in there. So we got an idea. I'm actually going to take the heat gun, I think, and heat this up and thread this in here. Might be a pretty good idea.
getting shiny. Sweet. It worked. A little too tight. <laughs> My rubber grommet starts squeezing out. Alright, so uh, if you guys really want to make this thing secure and uh, fit pretty well, here you go. Take your heat gun, make the hole just a little bit smaller than this. Warm it up to the point where it starts looking kind of shiny right here. Not too bad. And then you can just thread it down in there. Nice little uh, surprise. I still think I want to put that metal on the bottom of it though. So what we're going to do is loosen this all the way up. See I can go pretty much all the way up there. It's a lot of wire and of course I can come off of that. But I'm running all the way down. Get the wire, run it back up, wire it here, heat everything up, shove it down in there, and you're good. Now we got our wire coming out of our hole, going to our switch panel. You see there's one empty spot for a positive to go right here. So I have my positive already crimped and plugged on there. Now for your negative, so you don't have to run three negative wires back to the negative on your battery. If you use the top right negative piece up here, it will ground it for you. So all you have to do is run one negative to each switch. It's the way it should be. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I took the factory uh, clamp off so I can twist these together and crimp it and put it on myself. And I'll probably do the same thing with these other ones too. Definitely want my nav light though to be the most secure one. Of course, I got the camera on. That's going to be problems. Go, so it's something like that. Got my negative going up here. I got my positive plug down here on the bottom. You can always stop and test it real quick to see what it does. There is my Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it looks like we're working. Even with only 10 volts. <laughs> That's always good when you know uh, stuff you actually plan to use is working. Nice. I might even test the back one to make sure I'm getting power real quick. 
All right, so now my plan is I'm going to run my inside lights, my courtesy lights, and for the color I went with, I'm going with blue. Uh, that way it's not overwhelming, it doesn't take away my night vision, and it won't be confused with nav lights. If I were to use green or red lights, that could be confused for navigation lights. And I know I can hear the keyboard warriors right now, bug, blue attracts bugs, bug. Well, I don't plan on having these on the whole time. It's just so I can turn them on so I can get to something. If I can find a bait, tool, look in you know, back here in my splash well to find something, it's all it's pretty much for. Turn them on, look for something, find it, turn them back off. I don't need these on the whole time draining my power. But they should look cool. So, oh, so you don't think I'm getting left out. Uh, the way I'm planning this is I don't have a hatch back here in the back of my tank well for a wire straight across. Basically, I'm going to do kind of the same thing I did with the nav lights, if you guys saw. We'll start here, I'm going to work down the side of the kayak, go around the front, come all the way back here, this back light on this side, and then run a wire back up to the switch panel. Now I have it done. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with that process, it's the same thing, and I'll just show you guys the uh, finished result, and then... After I get these ran, I'm pretty much cleaning everything up and then putting these, you know, screwing these in place and closing everything up. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright, so I'm all done. Finally. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. But, got to end this video, right? So, I got all the lights on and installed. They're all screwed in, silicone in. Got the panel pushed back in and screwed in. It's set. Everything's running. So, let's show you how these lights turned out. Huh. Turn out the lights first. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, there's a slight glow on the panel. Do the nav lights first. There's the nav lights, nice and bright. And then here is the interior lights. Nice cool blue glow. I think it turned out pretty good. I said the blue worked out perfect. It's enough for I can mess around in here and do stuff, but I'm not blinding myself. Definitely still need to clean this kayak up and get ready for first night fishing trip in the summer. But uh, I'll give you a take the camera off the tripod and do a quick walk around to give you guys a better view of what's going on in here. Now you can see the tank well too. I set them pretty far back because normally I run a cooler back here and I didn't want them to be in the way of the cooler. But I'm definitely digging it. I'm loving the way this turned out. I'll see if I can get some uh, on the water footage. I'm going to go out night fishing tomorrow. See, just a couple bucks with some Amazon stuff. You can have a sweet looking practical rig. Just gotta put in some elbow grease. There you go, now you can get a better overall view of the whole kayak.
Well, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or anything you would like to know, be sure to leave me a comment. Or if you just enjoyed the video and it gave you some ideas and helped you out, you know, leave a comment as well. I love hearing from everybody. I love interacting with everybody that comes across my videos. And um, like I said before in the beginning of the video, I will leave a parts list uh, of Amazon links down in the description below. Be sure to check that out. And uh, if you haven't already and you stuck with me this far, please leave the video a big thumbs up. And also if you're not a member or a subscriber of Dinsmore Outdoors yet, I don't know what's keeping you, but it's free and it lets you know when I put up great videos like these, right? So click that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified when I do put up videos. Sometimes they're far and few between, sometimes they're back to back, so you never know. And uh, like always guys, thank y'all for watching, and remember we'll see you out there, we do more than this one.